six. I'm definitely buying that. Sam, or is no, it's Bilbo. Hello, you are one of the Duna Dine, are you not? Please allow me to introduce myself. Bilbo Baggins, at your service. Eredam, at yours. Always happy to meet one of the Guardians of the North. I've heard about what you and your friends did to help my Frodo and the Duna Dan reach Rivendell safely. You'll have to tell me all about it one of these days so I can write it all down properly. Dunedan. In the Elvish, that signifies Man of the West, one of my people. Yes, indeed, but when I say it, I mean Aragorn, of course. The Dunedan, he is often called here. A remarkable man, Aragorn, and a good friend. I almost wish that I could accompany him on his grand quest, but I'm far too old for adventures now. I only hope I will be spared long enough to write it all down. Tell me about Frodo. Is he your son? Oh no, he's not my son. Actually, he's my first cousin once removed. And also my second cousin once removed. Well, it's, it's complicated, but we, we share a great-grandfather. The poor lad was orphaned at an early age, and so I adopted him. Made him my heir, all nice and legal, while simultaneously dashing the greedy hopes of my odious relations, the Sackville Baggins. <laughs> he's a good lad, Frodo. I only wish... I only wish he hadn't inherited my troubles along with my estate. I hope that Gandalf and the Dunedan will keep him safe in the days ahead. Can you tell me how Frodo came to be in possession of the Ring of Power? Well, yes. That was through me, I'm afraid. I found the ring by happenstance while lost beneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. I won it. That is to say, I took it from the creature Gollum. Of course, I did not know the full story of the ring until only a few days ago. I thought it was merely a magical bauble with the power to make the wearer invisible. I only used it to avoid unwelcome visitors. Imagine that old ring of mine causing such a fuss. I would gladly take charge of it again if that would help. Oh, yes. Yeah. Gladly. Yes. You know... I think it would be best if we discussed something else. Now you call Rivendell your home? Well, the Shire will always be my home, I suppose. But this is the perfect place for so many things that I'm more than content to remain here. My days are mostly filled with my writing now. What is it you write? 
Oh, a little of this and a little of that. History, my past adventures, family trees. I've even begun a book of translations from the Elvish. Although lately I've been working on poetry mostly. Say, maybe you could help me with that. I'm writing a poem for Aragorn and I'm a bit stuck on a line or two. Is that so? Well then, let me hear what you have. Uh, very well, very well. Uh, the verse that's giving me trouble runs like this. Ahem. <clears throat> The light from the west is rekindled. Forth from him lattice it springs. Renewed is the hope that has dwindled. The light from the west is rekindled. Forth from him lattice it springs. Renewed is the hope that has dwindled. To challenge the Lord of the Rings. Hmm, hey now, that's not bad, no. Maybe I can work with that. You missed your calling, my friend. Perhaps you should put down your weapons and take up a pen. I hope one day I will be able to sit at ease and compose verse. But I fear that day is still far off. <sighs> I'm afraid you're right, but since these old hands are not much use with the sword, I'll just keep on with the pen. Though I'll need some help. Perhaps you could show this to the Lady Arwen. She has her people's gift with words, and this touches her deeply, after all. Arwen? Who is she? Why, she's Elrond's daughter, of course, and Aragorn's beloved as well. Although you didn't hear that from me, she's a sweet lady, and I'm sure she'd be willing to give me a hand with this. I will take it to her. Ah, thanks very much. Uh, be sure to give her my compliments, won't you? I will indeed. Farewell now. I'm guessing this is her. Yep. My Govanen, well met and welcome to the safe haven of Imladris. My Govanen, Lady Arwen, it is a great honor. The Dunedain are always welcome here. You have endured great danger and given us urgent warning of a new threat to the north. For this, we honor you, Eridan. It is my duty as a ranger, nothing more. I am glad to be of service to my lord Aragorn. You show the modesty worthy of a hero. Estelle and my brothers have spoken highly of your courage and foremost. And I thank you for your part in seeing to my brother's safe return. Please. Take your ease and rest a while in our halls. You will find all your heart could desire, whether it be food, drink, song, or storytelling. I have an errand I must not forget. Here is an unfinished poem from Bilbo. He asked for your opinion and advice, saying the subject is very close to your heart. Then it must be about Estelle. He is fond of writing verses in honor of his good friend and therefore often comes to me for advice. You may leave it with me, Aradan. I will give it some thought and answer him myself. Thank you, lady. Perhaps the time will come when I can enjoy these gentle arts, but that time is not today. Your father has tasked me with scouting the Etnomores. Then I will not keep you, but we may be of service to one another. I am helping my father brew a potion known as Mirabal. One sip of Mirabal can renew heart and soul and bring new vigor to weary limbs. I am in short supply of certain rare ingredients that may be found in the Etinors. If I gave you a list of the ingredients, perhaps you could bring any you find while carrying out your mission. With enough ingredients, I will return the favor by brewing an extra flask that... Gladly, Lady Arbor. That is it. Now I gotta find the forge. Legolas. Pardon my curiosity, but you don't appear to be one of Elrond's people. No, I am one of the woodland folk of Mirkwood. My name is Legolas Greenleaf, the son of Thranduil, king of the woodland realm. But I too am curious. You don't appear to be one of the men of Dea, nor one of the Bjornings. I'm Eridan, one of the rangers of the north, the Dunedain. Ah. 
one of those who follow Aragorn, son of Arathorn. Tell me about Mirkwood. Mirkwood is the greatest woodland in all of Middle-earth. It was called Greenwood the Great, before the shadow of Sauron fell over it. In ages past, it was a place of great beauty. But now, it is filled with darkness and dread. Save only in the north, where my father's realm is maintained. What brought you on such a long and perilous journey? Unpleasant business. My father sent me to report the escape of Gollum, a creature Aragorn had entrusted to our care. What can you tell me about this Gollum? A pathetic creature who long held the Ring of Power. The evil of the Ring has left him twisted and tormented. His only thought is to recover what was taken from him. How did Gollum manage to escape your guard? Not from a lack of watchfulness, but perhaps from too much kindness. We occasionally allowed Gollum to go about the wood on a close guard. But on one of these ventures, the guards were attacked by orcs from Dol Guldur. In the confusion, Gollum escaped. We followed his track southward for many leagues, until it drew near to Dol Guldur. There, it became too dangerous to pursue him any further. What is this place, Dol Guldur? A stronghold of the enemy in the south of Mirkwood. It was once the dwelling of the Dark Lord, until he was driven out in the year of the Dragon's Fall. But it has once again become a place of great evil. Hmm. All the darkness that besets Mirkwood has its source in Dol Guldur. Will you be departing for your home soon? No. I have been chosen to represent Elvin Kind among the Company of the Ring. I will be accompanying the Halfling, Frodo Baggins, on his journey south. It seems strange that with so many elves in his own household to consider, Elrond chose to make you a member of the Fellowship. I asked for the privilege, and Elrond did not refuse me. I feel he may have been relieved not to lose any of his household to this quest. He will have need of all his strength, should the enemy move against him Nodris. I am curious why you would volunteer for this. Partially to make amends for the loss of Gollum, but more so because this will be the final chapter in our long struggle against the darkness. And I wish to have a hand in our final victory. Or at least, to stand in the forefront of our last act of defiance. May fortune favor your fellowship in the days ahead, Legolas. See, ah, there it is. Welcome, Aradan. I suspected you would find your way here before long. I have gathered a few artifacts of interest on my travels. I believe you might be able to help me with them. Ah, these are work of Westernese. The lost land of Numenor. The men who forged these items were skilled indeed. You have the makings of a unique weapon here. Although these components were never part of a single work, I believe you have assembled everything I would need to make it so. The finished weapon would undoubtedly carry some elven qualities. What do you mean by that? Only that with a work such as this, the finished product is liable to reflect the nature of the smith who assembles it. If, for example, a dwarven smith were to complete this weapon, it might possess quite different qualities from the weapon I would create. I would be pleased if you would undertake this task. Very good. I will get started at once. There, it is finished. May this serve you well, my friend. 